Hey guys, so I got a few records this month, and I did the duty of already opening the boxes, because when I was filming my previous videos, it took me quite a while to open those boxes, and I stupidly did not bring a knife with me to open them. So I thought I would just open them off camera, and then I would fill a video and show you what they were. The first one I got is an iconic album, to me it is. It's Born in USA by Bruce Springsteen. I wanted to add more Bruce Springsteen to my collection. And this is personally one of my favorites of his. Dancing in the Dark is my absolute favorite song. I love Born in USA, I'm on Fire, Glory Days, My Hometown. This Bruce Springsteen, he's just a really awesome artist. Then the next one I got was another Dan Kroll album. And this one came out in 2014. And it's a Record Store Day edition. And it has Hello My Baby, Lady Smith, Black Mombonzo, and Ever At Your Side. I've heard of Lady Blacksmith Mombonzo. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name right. Because they did a song with Josh Groban on one of his albums. And I really digged it and liked it a lot. So... I definitely would recommend people check out them. They're really awesome. Of course, there is a bunch of other albums that I need to get into my collection. Like, I don't have any records by The Animals. And I really need to get The Animals in my collection. Of course, I need to get Distant Rally Gears by Cream. Some more Led Zeppelin. Uh, more folk albums. More like 60s and 70s. Folk albums, I love to add those to my collection. And definitely, definitely more 80s albums like Depeche Mode, New Order. You know, just basically a lot more New Wave. Talking Heads. Also need to get Billy Joel, The Stranger in my collection. Because that is my favorite Billy Joel album. And I love the song Scenes from an Italian Restaurant. I know, that's weird to say that, but it's a, such a good album, and I need to add it to my collection. I might even venture into getting some, like, 90s stuff, but I was more into, like, the grunge rocks artists of the 90s, like Third Eye Blind, Pearl Jam, Semi-Sonic, Rage Against the Machine, um, who else did I like the 90s? Nirvana, but I'm not, like, a super, super huge, oh, and R.E.M., of course, but they were, you know... 80 slash 90. I definitely need to get some R.E.M. in my collection. I love losing my religion. I used to listen to that song when I was little. And, of course, there's Pink Floyd. I need Pink Floyd's The Wall. It's just, you know, there's so many albums, and I'm drawing a blank, that I would love to have in my collection. Because I have now 200 records in my collection. And I'm always looking for new artists to add to my collection and I haven't been buying as many records I think lately but hopefully I will get down to my local Amoeba and pick up some used records because they have a dollar section at Amoeba it's the best you can pick up a lot of good gems for a dollar which I love them cheap and used I'll be honest with you because new records are so expensive. They're like 25 bucks a pop. And I love them cheap and used. But yeah, um, those are the records I got this month. And next month, I got some stuff coming. So I'll film another bill next month. And hopefully I'll also hit up the thrift store near my house and purchase some more records or head to Amoeba. So, um, thanks for watching, and keep it groovy, guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.